Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we're predicting with you guys the Africa Cup of Nations 2023 edition. So I want to know your predictions in the comments below guys and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now I do have some announcements to make before I get started. First announcement that this is just my predictions. Okay, I'm predicting um, how I think the nations will perform. This has nothing to do with my biasness or feelings whatsoever in fact i don't support any of these nations so there should be no issues like that okay and be aware there will be upsets there will be several upsets i predict in this video because like i said there is no afcon that has gone 100 percent according to the favorites if that did happen it wouldn't be as interesting another thing we're going to be having a live stream on saturday at 12 30 p.m eastern standard time we'll be discussing about the afcon groups the knockouts you know, doing that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, please direct message me either on Discord or on direct messages of Twitter. Okay? Those two platforms, the links are in the description below. So if you're interested, hit me up there and I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So starting with Group A, guys. We have here is, of course, the host nations, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Coming in last place, I have is Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea, for me, are the def most defensive team in this group. For me, my issue with Equatorial Guinea is that they're very, very good defensively, but their attack isn't very good. And that's why worry for them is this, is that, yes, their defense can be great and all, but if you can't score goals, it's not going to mean you anything, right? So that's why I think Equatorial Guinea will finish bottom. Third in the group I have is Guinea-Bissau. Guys, I think Guinea-Bissau could surprise people, because I've seen some people say Guinea-Bissau, they're not going to do much in this group and that stuff, and I feel like for me, the team has good rostered, good quality players in the roster. And remember, guys, they did. They were in the same group with Nigeria, I believe, in the AFCON qualifiers and managed to, I believe, beat Nigeria on the road. I might have to double-check that. But they actually did, I'm pretty sure. And so I feel like for me in this group, they could definitely surprise pe teams in this group and maybe get a point against either Nigeria or Ivory Coast, which would mean that they'll be one of the best third-place teams. And the second group is Nigeria. Nigeria, for me, should be qualifying this group. If they don't qualify for this group, it's an embarrassment and everything. Because for me, yes, their defense isn't great. Yes, their midfield isn't great. And yes, their coach is terrible. Nigeria's attack still is still amazing. Boniface is still there. Awesome is still there. Like, there's really no excuses for Nigeria. So, Nigeria have to make it through in this group. And the first group is for me, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, for me, are just the most well-rounded team. Because as good as Nigeria are, I only feel like their attack is great. Ivory Coast, for me, have a way better midfield, have a way better defense than Nigeria, and I think they have a better coach as well. So, I feel like, for me, Ivory Coast is going to do something in this group, and I think they're really solid. I think they're really, really underrated, and I look at the midfield they have. Sangare and Kessi clears any midfield that Nigeria have, and I believe, um, if I heard, I think um, the um, one of the CDMs for is, is Nigeria is not going to be available for the, the AFCON. I can't remember the name of the top of my head. I'll probably have it here in the screen. But yeah, that guy is a huge loss for them. Oh, Wilfred and Didi. That's the guy I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to be there. That midfield for me is already better. So yeah, no. Ivory Coast for me should top this group. And this is how I think the group is going to pan out. So this is a quick overview. Moving on to group B we have here is Egypt, Ghana, Cape Verde, and Mozambique. Coming in the last place, guys, in the group I have is Mozambique. Mozambique for me just don't have enough quality to compete. Yes, they have some, they have some notable players. I think they have this guy from Atletico Madrid, Ronaldo, Renandito. Alito, he's a decent player, but obviously him alone isn't going to be enough to change Mozambique around. And I believe it's the first AFCON since 2010. Then coming in third place, I have is Cape Verde. I think Cape Verde, for me, is a solid nation. I think they're very difficult to beat, and they don't concede a lot of goals. And I feel like, for me, they're very difficult to beat, and I think they could even get second place. But I think they're going to finish third. At the second of the group is Ghana. Guys, I'll be honest with you, I'm not impressed with Ghana. I'm really not. Ghana, for me, are looking very, very mediocre. And... Even though they have some good names on players like uh, Inyaki Williams, Ayu Brothers, Salisu, Amarte, the list goes on and on. I just think Ghana are just frustrating to watch. I've not enjoyed watching Ghana to watch. They're very, very bad, very shocking. And the only positive I see with this team is Kudos because that Kudos guy is a baller, fantastic. And without Kudos, I think Ghana might honestly get grouped. I, I can't believe this. I I'm being serious, dead serious here. If they didn't have kudos, I probably would have predicted them to get grouped. But with kudos, they'll probably have enough to do what it takes to get do the bare minimum and get through. And then for me, top of the group is Egypt. Egypt, for me, should be able to top this group. With the players they have on disposal 
And I think ever since they made the AFCON final, they were beaten finalist. This is time for Mohamed Salah, man. Can he get redemption for this one? Because for me, I think this is going to be Salah's last AFCON at his prime. Because the next AFCON, I don't know how good he will be, right? So this is the last opportunity to get do so, man. And this is a huge one. Because for me, Egypt, they have everything what it takes. The coach is now more attack-minded. He's not as defensive like Carlos Quiroz. And the, the team is well set up around Salah. That Salah can do everything he can to get this team forward. So for me, Egypt for me, they should be able to top this group. And this is how I think the group will pan out. And yes, I do think Cape Verde will be one of the best third place teams to advance. Group C. This is a group, guys. And coming in last place, I have is Gambia. Gambia for me, I'm sorry to say, I'm not been, I really think they're going to struggle in this group. I really think they're going to struggle. It's a very difficult group for them. And I just think that for me, the defensive structure of Gambia just don't look great. They defend, they're conceding goals way for too, they're conceding way too many goals for fun. And I just feel like for me, the way that they qualify for the AFCON and just about scraping it through in the final match day, needing to get a draw from two 0 down is shocking. You know, and for me, I just don't. I just think for Gambia, this is too much to ask, and I think this is too difficult group. So I'm sorry to say. This is gonna. Uh, this is not gonna happen. And by the way, this is a group of death guys. This is probably the most competitive group we have there in Afcon. Coming in third place, I'm is Cameroon. I've not been impressed with Cameroon. I've not been impressed with Cameroon. I've seen them the qualifiers. They look terrible. They don't look great. And they bounce. They bounce. Squeeze their way through because I think they were in a group with um, Namibia and I think Burundi, and they just did the bare minimum to qualify. Bare minimum to qualify, and it's absolutely shocking. It's absolutely shocking for what Cameroon did because. I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed. And guys, I have a very hot take here. I think they get grouped. I think they genuinely get grouped. I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to put my name on the line. I'm going to go for a very wild call. And this might age terribly, but I'm going to go for the call because I feel like for me, they look uninspiring, look very bad, and I'm not been impressed. Second place in the group is Guinea. Guinea for me is a team to look out for. I think this is a team that could very much surprise people in this group. You know, and they have that amazing striker, Gorasu, who's been a, a, such a stellar form of Stuttgart. And I think him alone could just be enough for Guinea to do something in this group and get second place. I just feel like for me, their team is well solid. Their midfield is solid. Defense is solid. And I just think that they have a very coherent shape and very very well organized shape. That's why I think they're going to get second place. At the top of the group is Senegal. Senegal, for me, there's really no explanation. So, say, of course, they're defending AFCON champions. They're expected to do this. And I think they'll top this group with relative ease. And I think they just have too many good players like Sadio Mane, Nicholas Jackson. I can name all and on. They just have an incredible roster. For me, they should top this group. So, yeah, and I don't think Cameroon would advance. One of the best third place team. I don't think they will. Group D, guys. Coming in last place, guys, is Angola. Angola making their um, appearance to AFCON for a, for a long t after a very long time. And I just feel like for me, Angola just don't have enough quality to compete, unfortunately. They're losing some big... They're also lo they're having some players be injured, which is really bad for them. Really hampers their AFCON. And so, yeah, I don't think they'll do it. Third place I have in the group is Martinia. I think Martinia, for me, they're really only really great at home. I don't think they're very good on outside of the road. But because they've competed here before, that's why I do think they'll have a bit more experience. And I think they won't concede as many much, much goals as Angola. But ultimately, they will finish third. And I don't think they'll be one of the best third place teams. Second team, second place in this group is Burkina Faso. I think Burkina Faso, for me, is one of the most underrated teams in Africa. I think this is a very solid team. I think it's a team that can give teams a good go. They're attacking brand of football. They're very well fun to watch. And I feel so bad for them because they've reached the last couple of AFCON semifinals, but they've never won the thing. They have never won the AFCON before in their history. And maybe this year could be their opportunity to do so. And then, of course, first in the group is Algeria. No questions asked. They have a pretty good attack. You know, obviously, Morris comes to mind, etc. Delort as well. And I think Algeria, for me, they should be able to do it with a lot of the players playing in the league on, of course, of France. So, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think Martini will be one of the best third place teams. Group E, guys. Coming last place in the group is nah, be a Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, I do apologize. Like I said, they just don't have enough quality to compete in this group. I think this group is way too much to ask. I hope they do something, though, for an upset point of view, but I think it's too much to ask. Third place in the group I have is Mali, which might surprise a lot of people. But I really feel like, for me, this Mali team is overrated. I'm going to put it out here. Yes, they have some great players like Basuma comes to mind and everything. But for me, this Mali team just disappoint. When the going gets tough, they just don't perform well. And I, I don't think they'll do it. That's why I feel like they're going to finish third. Even though I feel like they should have what it takes to even maybe even top this group or even come second place. But I just feel like for me, 
They're going to finish third, and I think they're going to disappoint. South Africa, for me, I think is a very solid team. I think South Africa is on the rise after after they missed the last edition of the AFCON. They're definitely improving their football, and I think they could do something here in this group. I think they could do something with how good they are defensively, and um, I think they could do something. And the first in the group has that Tunisia. Tunisia, for me, they're a very underrated team. They they usually do well in these kind of groups, and a lot of people don't... The thing with Tunisia is that they're always a team that just does the bare minimum. They just do the bare minimum, and they always, they're effective, right? Where we where may, may not have the flashy players compared to other teams, but they know how to get the job done. And I think they'll be able to get the job done on top of this group. And yes, I do think Mali will be the best third place team, as I've, as I've even though I criticized them a lot in the preview. Group F, the final group we have here is, um, we have Morocco, DR, Congo, Zambia, Tanzania. Coming last place in the group is Tanzania. I don't think Tanzania have enough quality to compete in this group, unfortunately. I think this is too much to ask for in this group. I hope they could prove me wrong, though. I'd love to see it, but I think this is too much to ask. <clears throat> and the third place in the group is DR Congo. I think DR Congo, for me, have abundance of talent as well, just like um, just like Mali, but I don't think they'll perform well as expected. And the second place in the group is Zambia. I think Zambia, for me, is a very underrated team. I really like the makeup of this team. Daka, Shakala, and these kind of players. And I think Zambia is an exciting team to look out for. At the top of the group is Morocco. Of course, the AFCON favorite, one of the best teams in Africa right now. Probably the best team in Africa, just on current form. I mean, they made the, they made the semifinals of the World Cup for Crown Loud. There is, there, this Morocco team has been amazing. And Naziri, um, Amrabat, Bono, this team goes on and on. There's just so much quality players. Moving on to round of 16. Uh, DR Congo to advance one of the best third place teams. Moving on to round of 16, guys. Here's what I have here. So, Nigeria versus Guinea. Yes, I think this is where the road ends for Nigeria. Even though I do think it's a favorable match for Nigeria, I feel like we're going to see an upset. And I think Guinea's going to do it. Algeria versus Euro Congo, I think Algeria should be able to do it. Egypt versus Guinea-Bissau, Egypt should be able to do it. Morocco versus South Africa, Morocco should do it. I believe the two of them are in the same AFCON group. AFCON qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken. Ghana versus Zambia. I think Zambia actually beats Ghana. While they may seem like an upset, I think Zambia have a very good team. I think they're very underrated. And I think they're going to beat Ghana. Ivory Coast versus Mali, I think Ivory Coast should win that. And the Tunisia versus Burkina Faso. I'm going to go with Burkina Faso, actually, to upset Tunisia. To advance the quarterfinals. And the Senegal versus Cape Verde. I think Senegal wins that one. Moving to the quarterfinals, I have Guinea versus Algeria. I think this is where the road ends for Guinea. Algeria to triumph. Egypt versus Morocco. This heavyweight matchup we saw, of course, the last AFCON. And I'm really excited to see this one. And do Morocco get revenge? I think this time around, Morocco gets revenge and beats Egypt in the quarterfinals. And I think Morocco wins. Zambia versus Ivory Coast. Um, this was a match we also saw AFCON qualifiers. This time around, though, I think Ivory Coast wins. Burkina Faso versus Senegal. I think we saw this AFCON semifinal last time around. This time, though, it's going to happen in the quarterfinals, and I think Senegal will triumph. The semifinals have Algeria versus Morocco, and I think Morocco wins this one. And the Ivory Coast versus Senegal. I have Ivory Coast to beat Senegal. I think, for me, this is where the road ends for Senegal. I think they had a good run, but I just think Ivory Coast, there's just something special with them. And, you know, home kind of atmosphere, I think Ivory Coast will do it. And in the final, Ivory Coast was Morocco. A very interesting final, a very intense final, physical affair and everything. I think Ivory Coast will win it at the home nation. And I do think Ivory Coast will be your AFCON champions. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please remember to hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button down below, guys. Comment up with your thoughts, comment subscribe below. And please remember to check out me in the platform description below. And also consider, also consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members, members' streams. And also let me know, do you guys agree with Ivory Coast winning the AFCON? Hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.